Hey guys, I'm Chromeman17. Things are getting pretty freaking crazy over here. They're throwing tear gas. They're freaking spraying bear mace again. They're pretty pissed off. We got a pretty nice crowd here. I think I'm actually going to stay here in the shade. Kind of hard to breathe. I would like to do a uh, live stream, but my connection is kind of low. Batteries get a little dead. Well, they got a flag on a stick on a plant, a fucking tree. Looks like they got a tree, and they got a flag on the tree. I don't recognize the flag though, but that's that's their thing, I guess. It's cool. Don't get that. They don't see how they're making themselves a hypocrite, and it's, it seems like it's impossible to get them to understand that. I that if they're hitting them, people said, and being violent, they're just as bad, if not worse. I said, why don't you, if you really want to make a statement, take your feet off, wear a loud and proud. My name is Jane, and I think this is wrong. That's how you make change. Yeah. They said, no, I don't want to be raped and beat up. And I said, oh, raped and how beat many, up. has there been like a hundred examples of that that's happened? Is there, you know, I mean, but yeah. even still, even I mean, where's your courage if, if, it, if that is happening? Gross that. But I didn't, where's I didn't, that? Yeah, where's that? They claim that we're the, the side, the, the, the American patriot side is the fascist side, the racist side, the Nazis. Oh, I think they are. I heard some stuff down there. You think some of them are? Oh, yeah. I'm I sure think... every once in a while there's like, some real like white supremacists try to sneak in. And we that's why we have to strongly denounce that because it poisons the So what is the message? Uh, this is a patriot prayer. That's pretty much all it is. It's just a patriot prayer. So Yeah, no uh, hate no hate groups were welcome, not Antifa, not uh not so white supremacists or what? KKK. What's the goal? why he does these things since he's the one who sets them up. But yeah, he's not white, he's Japanese, and there's, there's like um, another, like two other black but guys. I mean, what's the objective? Them. What are they hoping to accomplish? Um, I think that it's just to, because you should be allowed in this country to have, you know, freedom of speech and the right to, to, uh, to gather politically, right? You have the right to uh, it publicly assemble. upon the rights of somebody else. I mean, you can't fire. Uh -huh. You can't yell fire in a theater, right? Of course, yeah. So that's so, again, that's a freedom of speech restriction. Uh huh. That you can't yell fire in a theater. Got that. So, are is it okay? Where? So you're saying that the or this group is saying that the line is just a little bit beyond that. It's okay to yell. Uh, Gays or evil, or blacks or. Well, we're not white. yelling gay or. I know, but that, I'm just I'm just saying that those. Yeah, you know, I wouldn't agree with that kind of speech, but also freedom of speech isn't you being okay with your own speech. Right it's now. being okay with memorial speech wall. you disagree with. Yeah, let's take us to a memorial wall real quick. Let's go take some pictures. Sure. Yeah. How you doing, brother? I'm really good. Good. Just as my yeah, last thing, I say. Oh, she's back. Yeah. So. Yeah, basically, freedom is, to me, freedom of speech isn't you being okay with your own speech. It's being okay with speech you disagree with. So even if you don't agree with someone saying, I hate blacks or I hate gays, you should be able to say that. Yeah. Where you cross the line is when you decide to go beat up somebody because they're gay. Agree? Agree. Or enact laws against them. Yeah, definitely. Or anything like that. Totally. See, you're on the, you understand. You seem to get, you seem to get it, yeah. It's really, truly, I think, for the most part, for most of the people that are in there, it's about free speech. And Antifa is, seems to, like... They're associating the... They actually said there's a thing as hate speech, and it's considered violence, and they can... Because it's, it's a form of violence. It, their right to hate you is, without question, like, attacking you. So it's okay for them to come up and clobber you without you doing anything. 
Agreed. But regardless of their message, and I don't agree with what they're doing, or at least the majority, some of the people, probably 25% of the people in there seem like they were a little bit wacky. Yeah, but the rest the of them are probably... The other people were just saying, hey, we want to be, I'll get along. Yeah. Can't, yeah. Except for a lot of them still chant about happened? Nazis. I will tell you, there's no Nazis down there. No Nazis. The Nazis what if there did. Were? Would this group kick if, them out? If they oh, yeah. knew, we denounced Nazis. If they knew who they were, they would kick them out. Like they don't always yeah. like, announce themselves. They want to go be if there's whatever wherever there might actually be some Nazis. Go do your own Nazi thing somewhere else. We do not want to associate ourselves with you. And I've never actually even seen a Nazi. I have. Yeah. Well, I believe they're there, but he I mean, has she's... the tattoo and the white suspenders and the Doc Martens. His name is Raul. Yeah. But he is a Mexican kid that was kicked into the foster system at the age of three, and. But he's Mexican, he's a Nazi. Huh? And when he, yeah, I know. And when he was 15, that he got kicked out of his, uh, or ran away from his foster home, and then some neo-Nazis took him in. Which is weird, considering, and made him family. And that's that's all I know about him. I'm like trying to find him, actually, to interview him. But um, huh. that's one. And then there's Jake Von Ott has shown up at some stuff. And I, he's part of Identity Europa which is like pro-white men, which I don't even understand. But he's also been told he's not welcome repeatedly. And then there's one other guy that shows up. And there is one guy here that is not standing with him that I know for sure is a white supremacist because I'm on his Facebook page. Are you guys from here in the area? I used to live in Portland for like a quarter of a uh, century. And then I just moved back to the valley to a smaller town. Where are you from? San Jose, California. Oh, really? Oh. I spent a long time down there. San Jose's nice. My family's from Cupertino, live in, live in uh, Saratoga now. I got family in Sunnyvale. Do you live in um, Vancouver in now? Yeah. Yeah. I yep. would say they're a peaceful group. There are some patriots down there. Definitely, absolutely. Just, it's just dangerous for them. It's just dangerous. If you, if you, if you, message must not be peaceful. It is. If it generates... <laughs> well, they just want to get... It generates this... So you should you should definitely read more of... Um, Are these the like, same guys in Vancouver? I don't know if you yeah. know them. The guys yeah. that have been walking around, wandering around in their four-wheel drive trucks with all the American flags in the back of them? Is I don't think so. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think so. I do know that Patriot Prayer is from Oregon, but where... In, I don't think it's Portland. No, Georgia. actually, Joey's in Vancouver. Vancouver. Oh, but okay. most of the stuff they do is in Portland. Um, they, they don't have a hateful message. They just don't. And that's how I ended up covering this stuff. Because I came to the Trump one that took place in downtown Portland. You know, at, at, See, that's the problem. And I think they've gotten anything. themselves associated with And they're Trump not and Trump the whole, people necessarily. Yeah, really? Some, of, it some of them are. The this well, didn't really start coming Well, out. these people came out the day of the election. These Antifa people came out and they ransacked hell the cities, especially they Washington, D.C. It was an anti-Trump. Uh -huh, and, and this came up as the pro-Trump. I mean, well, well, now, so right? let me no. tell you this. I'd say let me tell you this. At this, at this point, it's all about free speech now because yeah. these people are trying to shut people down from uh, expressing That's their own ideas. The this, yeah, this is different. This is beyond Trump now. Honestly, I know we are, yes, we are mostly care. Trump supporters, but there's something else behind I don't, this. I don't even think mostly anymore. I, think. I hope we move quickly. Yeah. I mean, Kekistan, you don't even have to be a member. You don't even have to be a Trump supporter to yeah. be Kekistani, you know? Right. A lot of people are. You just, you're an online movement who are sick and tired of identity politics and political correctness and censorship. I, I think most of the, like, I don't, Joey himself has said he's... So it's an anti it's free speech. Exactly. It's, it's a free speech. Basically, it's, a free, it's, an, it's a free speech movement run online by an online community. of. They are mostly white ringers, but there's plenty of libertarians in it, too. And there is no restrictions of what color or gender you have to be or sexual orientation. You just decide that, you know what, I'm doing funny stuff on the internet, and I'm trying. I'm getting sick and tired of being told what I can and can't post, what I can and can't say, and I want to be a part of this. You know, Pepe. Pretty much. All right. Well, thanks. You enlightened me. I need to think on this a bit. Yes. Yeah. Um, life is. All these these guys are taking life way too seriously. They're out here. They're pissed off. That's what's going on. These people are just too pissed off. A, do you you gotta enjoy life standard? again. That's what I want. I, I want people to enjoy read, life again. Uh, cat videos are <laughs> awesome. Get, I am so. I'm not interested in. So there's there's an article that just came out about Joey called "A Beating in Berkeley." 
and that guy is one of the best no, writers no, out no, on the no, planet, no. the guy who wrote the article. I went in and they said, which side are you on? And I said, said I have neither. no idea. <laughs> and I spent a little bit of time over here, and I spent a little time over there, and they came back, and I'm still not either on either. So <laughs> those guys are assholes, and those guys are assholes, as far as I'm concerned. I just wish they'd all go home. The cops yeah. wouldn't let us in to, to be with those guys over there. Why? And Antifa football. wouldn't let us in to, to be with them over there. Why would over there? Uh, they said because we're shutting it down. That's why. Yeah, they're, no. trying, they're trying to get people to they, leave. They told me when I came out, they said you can't go back in. So, they didn't tell me that, but I'm done. Yeah. All, right, well, all the good you. stuff happens afterwards. Appreciate your info. Go. You're welcome. Have Stay safe. Enjoy God that. bless America. Ride. What was your name, sir? Garen Thatcher. Garen. Yeah, I won't wear a mask. <laughs> I'm not hiding. Good for you. No more hiding. America. Ride safe.